So you wake up in the morning and you pick up your phone. <sighs> now you have a couple of apps on your phone. They all have functionalities, but let's look at the calculator app. Now the calculator app doesn't need an internet connection and it's independent in the sense that it requires no information from another server somewhere in the world. Everything you do is okay and can exist on your phone. But let's say we have a friend who likes jokes. <laughs> so he likes jokes and would like to share his jokes with the world. So how does he get his jokes to everyone? He decides to code his jokes and upload it to a server. Now, these jokes are in a server. How do we get it to the rest of the world? We can expose the data on this server through a REST API. Now, a REST API will enable different devices access the information located in this server. Let's look at Instagram. Instagram is a big application, but Instagram itself isn't on your phone. All you have is a simple app that queries information from Instagram servers and you get the information on your phone. Your phone doesn't have the whole of Instagram in it. So we have servers that have information. For a REST API, you would normally have a URL. And with that URL, you can perform some certain operations. The normal create, read, update, and delete we have in databases for REST APIs, we have push, get, put, and delete. You can have one particular URL and you can push data to it. That is, you want to add data. You can get from it. You could also have multiple URLs in a particular server that enable you access different information. Now, we have different REST APIs. You can create one yourself or you can even look at existing ones. Look at this weather API here. This weather API has information on the current weather and it returns the information in JSON format. REST APIs normally return values in JSON or XML, but most commonly we use JSON. We will talk on JSON in another lesson. Now, you can have one URL. In that URL, you normally specify if you want some specific information. You can add it to the URL, but there is going to be a base URL that you tell the server, hey, can you give me this information? You have another API called Weather Stack API. There are numerous APIs which you can use. For now, this is the simple overview of REST APIs. I will put links in the description below for more technical depth explanations. I just wanted to give you the simple basic explanation of REST APIs.